Welcome back all you Pokemon trainers. This is the Super Shay alongside my tag team partner Cool Dan 1211. Hey guys! And today I am working on Pokemon Shield. This is the very beginning of the game. I haven't started anything yet, so you're gonna get to see it from the very, very beginning. Oh, and we're gonna run through everything you need to do to get started. So first of all, I need to grab my hat and my bag. So let's see here. I gotta oh. go over to my room. The There's super, my bag. The super shade. Yes. Will you let Dan choose your Pokemon? Yeah, I'm gonna have to choose a new Pokemon again. Uh, I did this on Sword once already, uh, but Shield, I'm gonna try to get the other Legendary and maybe uh, trade that over to my other system. And there in the camera, right in that top <laughs> corner, you can see Austin CMS. Hello everyone, and Austin CMS here. And of course, of course I don't think I'll be starting a new, new game as I don't think I'll do a playthrough on Pokemon Sword or Shield. Because one, I've seen the ending already, so I'm basically spoiled. And two, who can't really do much about it. What I always I know that Hob is always an energy. One. So here we go. We are going to get started on our Pokemon adventure. And this is Hop. Have a look at you, Super Shay. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. <laughs> at least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Oh, that'd be nice. I would love for him to give me a Snorlax to start out with, but no such luck. I'm going to end up getting starters, which is perfectly fine. I have my personal favorite, but uh, we'll see what happens here. And there's that Wooloo. He's going to try to bust through the fence. What of a doofus? So far, unsuccessful. What of a doofus? He'll actually get lost. You in silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No! The woo woo is like, nope, not gonna care. Everyone knows there's a scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald. AKA the legendary. And he just continues beating his head. I don't understand it. Now that that's taken care of, how about it, Super Shay? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag. Oi! Oh, and by the way. Get back here! Oh, oh, and by the way, he'll get lost later in the story. You can't tell him the storyline. That's a spoiler alert. But still, I just wanted to say that. So first thing I'm going to need to do is go to Hop's house here. And I need to find him. Talk to his mom and Hop. Talk to his grandfather. Mom! Mom, is he here? <laughs> There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you brought along Super Shay. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Wow. His mom called me dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? I hope not. He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He is not a very patient person, is he? Yep. He He's probably him. only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know, Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? He gets yeah, lost. Yeah, that's probably for the best. You've got to come with, Super Shay. You still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion! Which is the Super Shay? I'll wait for you en route. Alright, so now I get to go on the actual adventure. I gotta meet up with Hop's big brother, the undefeated, undisputed, reigning, defending champion. Oh wait, I shouldn't go there. Alright, let's get a move on. Only remember, Super Shay, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Super Shay. Yeah, you go ahead and... Yeah, you know what to do. He's so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. 
He should say, don't forget to call gra grass. See what he says. So, I'm going to head down here. Head going to toward Wedgehurst. And, oops! No wandering into the tall grass for you if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. And go through the tall grass on the other side. All right, so I'm going down. I'm headed to Wedgehurst. I see a big crowd, and oh no, I'm veering to the right. And once again, he stops me from going into the tall grass. And he yells at you. So let's go to this group here. Oh no, I take your right. I see wings of a Charizard. It's a Charizard. And there he is. There's the man. Which is actually defeated. Oh. In, which is actually defeated in Pokemon Sword for him. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion Leon is back. The Big L. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for all of you to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest until me. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. He's not at all conceited. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us to, Lee. Because I'm sure he trained each and every one of you. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true. That Charizard is blazingly strong. But other Pokemon can be strong as well. I guess I get the joke. Lazy. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. And of course, Charizard. Grah! Lee! 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 Hop! 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 So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look okay. at you, Hop. Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since last time I saw you. What an eye. Bingo, that's a sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Super Shay, am I right? Yes, yes, he is. It's funny that I'm known all over the world already. I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever champion. And massive Charizard fan, too. So People I'm... call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee, and you, Super Shay. Bet I can beat you both back home. That hop, always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Actually, let's give him Well, a... everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Oh, and hey, the Super Shave. Yes. Let's call Lee the, the Undefeatable L. The Undefeatable L. Does that have anything to do with, like, Luigi? No. <laughs> Lee. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Super Shay and me a Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then. Right then. The greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's time to show everyone! Black screen. And here is where we get to pick Taking our Pokemon. Rookie, the grass Rookie. type. They're absolutely adorable. I have my personal favorite. Who's your favorite, Cool Dan? Score Bunny. Score Bunny. Yeah, he's my favorite too. He is definitely uh, what I consider to be the strongest of the bunch. However, Grookey uh, is a drummer. Oh. I'm a drummer. 
Oh, and by the way, hey guys, my my fans chose Grookey to be my starter. Right, D Super Shay? Yeah, yes they did. Alright, line up everyone. So now I'm going to pick my Pokemon. I'll be honest, I picked Score Bunny going through uh, Sword. And uh, I think this time I'm going to do something a little different. How about you let Jen do it? I think, uh, well, I suppose I could. I was going to go with Sobble because I've seen uh, Grookey stuff. I haven't seen Sobbles. Yeah, but... I get the pick first. He's got his Wooloo. So who should it be? Huh? Should I go with Grookey? Grookey. Look at this. Cute as a button. Soothing, like a nice long walk in the woods. The grass type Pokemon Grookey, is it? No. no. So yeah, I am going to consider all three of them. Here is Score Bunny. His favorite. The person, yeah, personally, I think he's the strongest of the bunch. It's filled to the bursting with fiery passion. You're set on fire type Pokemon Score Bunny? No. No. <laughs> so let's check out our third option, and it is Sobble. The water type. It adapts to anything as surely as water flows. Be like water, my friend. Be like it. Going with the water type Pokemon Sobble. The Sobbles? No. No. Mm, it's going to be hard to choose, right? So there it is. Those are the three choices. And uh, since Cool Dan 1211 wanted me to, I'm going to leave it up to you all. So you tell me which one is it going to be. I'll leave that, uh, I'll leave a poll in the comments and you can uh, pick whichever one you prefer and I will go with the one that has the most votes. So that is it for me today. Before I get out of here, I do want to do my shameless plug of the week and that goes to, well, of course, Cool Dan 1211 because he's here with me now. Hey! And I want to say thank you very much for hanging out with me today and uh, you know talking me into doing this so we are going to take off for the night we will see you all later bye bye bye